Speaking of our furry friends, today Joe V is taking us to a place that combines yoga poses with puppy kisses. What could be better? I, really nothing. <laughs> Yo, uh, Joe is here in the studio with an adorable edition of Throwback <laughs> Thursday. Hey guys, yeah, you know, I always thought, by the way, that yoga was supposed to be calming and peaceful. And then in 2018, I visited a studio where, while posing, I was mauled by a pack of hyperactive and adorable canines. It doesn't sound very soothing, but it just may be the best yoga ever. Inhale up. Exhale down. Take one discipline that goes back thousands of years. Just stretch it out, whatever feels right. Then add several special guests, all just a few months old. Release the hounds. Welcome to Puppy Yoga, a Forest Grove studio that puts a furry, funny, four-legged spin on this ancient exercise. I mean, I've been doing yoga for, oh gosh, for... 17 years and you go in you're not allowed to take your phone you're not allowed to talk you have to go into meditation in here it's a free-for-all it is whatever you want take a moment here to really stretch into your spine it's the all too adorable brainchild of Kristen Tornowski who trains labs and these French Bulldogs to be service and therapy dogs I'm always working and finding different ways to socialize my puppies and thought, why not do puppy yoga? She said, oh my God, do you ever hear of um, goat yoga? I would love to do puppy yoga. And I'm like, I've been an instructor since 04. I am your person, let's do this. Of course the class does involve classic yoga poses like downward. Of course the class does involve, oh. Of course the class does involve classic. I give up. As you may have noticed, distractions and disruptions are a big part of puppy yoga. The Whether the pups are yanking an instructor's in hair. <laughs> or stealing a news crew's GoPro camera. Drop it. Can I point out they like my photographer Daryl's shoes? Love it. <laughs> it's a one hour class. First you stretch without the pups, then they come in and pretty much go crazy. And then as the class progresses, the puppies start to get tired and they come in and settle in for a relax, snuggle with their guests in the, the yoga room. Although relaxed is a relative term. <laughs> Eventually, these puppies will age out and be replaced by a new litter. The socialization that they learned here will prepare them for their next stage of life, where they'll be helping people live happier and healthier lives. And let's go ahead and grow our tree. As for the human participants in this class, sure, they get some exercise, but let's face it, this is really an excuse to hang out with cute, cuddly pooches. And what's wrong with that? This is laughing yoga. Don't think about anything other than being here and having fun. Because there's plenty of workouts that can move and improve your body, but there's nothing like puppy love Namaste. to really heal your soul. No, I'll act with it. Girl, you just give in at that Namaste point, right? Namaste all day, right? <laughs> my, my face was clean for weeks. Thank you very much to that young pooch, wherever he may be now. Uh, and I want to let you know, I spoke with Kristen Tornowski, the founder of Puppy Yoga. She still has her puppies, but of course, she's not doing yoga classes right, right now. But she's still training them. She has a litter of uh, Labradors right now, training them to be diabetic alert dogs. So wow. very cool that they're helping people not only through yoga, but, you know, in their everyday lives. And when thing gets back to normal, she'd love to have you join their puppies and get smothered like I was. So there you go. You're going to have to go back and visit again. I, I think Honestly. this does deserve a follow-up. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. All right, Joe, thanks. Yeah.